Hi, welcome to Dr. Mark's Music Notes. I'm Dr. Mark Runkles, and today we're going to learn about the history of jazz. Cool jazz was associated with the West Coast, more specifically California, and is sometimes referred to as West Coast jazz. Bebop is associated with New York City and the East Coast. Cool jazz was a direct reaction against the super intensity of bebop. Cool jazz is more relaxed and typically has fewer chord changes. Its musicians would still play tunes at fast tempos, but generally they were slower, less frenetic, and less aggressive. The rhythms of Latin America infiltrated jazz at this time with the Brazilian bossa novas of Antonio Carlos Jobim. The shift from bebop to cool is loosely analogous to the shift between Baroque and classical eras in Western classical music. Several important musicians from cool jazz are trumpeter Miles Davis, tenor saxophonist Stan Getz, pianist Dave Brubeck, baritone saxophonist Jerry Mulligan, and guitarist Antonio Carlos Jobim. Miles could be listed in every era from bebop on. Here is a picture of Charlie Parker with a young Miles Davis. Miles broke in with Charlie Parker's quintet before leading his own groups. Miles had a huge influence on the changes that led to the different eras of jazz from bebop and beyond. Hard bop is the next era in jazz, and it went in several different directions. One direction was taking bebop to its maximum potential by further increasing tempos and adding even more complex chord changes based on movement by thirds. Hard bop was also influenced by musics outside of the jazz realm. Some of its music took on soulful and bluesy aspects from gospel and blues. North Indian classical music had an influence on jazz. Modal tunes were jazz musicians' attempt to imitate the North Indians' use of a single raga or scale for the basis of their compositions. Modal tunes often had one chord or very limited chord changes that kept the piece within one mode or scale. Fusion could be separated into its own era, but I'm leaving it with hard bop for this overview. Fusion was an attempt to combine jazz with rock. Important hard bop musicians include Miles Davis, tenor saxophonist John Coltrane and Sonny Rollins, trumpeter Clifford Brown, pianist Tara Silver, drummer Art Blakey, organist Jimmy Smith, and the Modern Jazz Quartet. Here is a picture of John Coltrane. Similar to Charlie Parker, Coltrane's style of improvisation would influence all saxophonists that came after him. Unlike Parker, Coltrane's playing and composition would undergo several changes throughout his career. Free jazz is the last era of jazz I'll cover here. The modern era combines many different elements of all the eras that came before it and would be too complicated to summarize in this post. Free jazz musicians were looking to break down formal and rhythmic structures in jazz as they felt these structures were too restricting to their freedom of expression. Chord changes were eliminated. Free jazz is loosely analogous to the serial or 12-tone movements in Western classical music. Important free jazz musicians include alto saxophonist Ornette Coleman, trumpeter Don Cherry, and pianist Cecil Taylor. I didn't find a good picture of Ornette Coleman that I was comfortable with posting on this presentation, so I chose the album cover to Free Jazz. I hope you found this presentation informative. It barely scratches the surface of jazz, and I will include presentations on these eras and players in more detail. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, and click the subscribe button for notifications about more information on jazz and other musical topics. Play on!